Hey, what's going on? Zach D Productions here, and I am here for another one of these movies I've watched recently videos. I've done one of these so far, so of course I'm going to continue this segment. So there's about five movies here that I do want to briefly go over, so let's go ahead and briefly talk about them. And wow, is it windy out. <laughs> so the first film I think I'll go over here is The Transporter, of course, with Jason Statham. Uh, I'm talking about the first one here. And yeah, this is definitely a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Now, I know that there's people that have said that this was the only good Transporter movie and the others are just crap, not really worth checking out. I probably will end up checking out the other ones. The first one is the only one that I've seen so far, but yeah, again, I've really enjoyed this movie. And of course, I really enjoyed uh, Jason Statham in this movie. I mean, he's probably one of my favorite action movie actors of all time. And yeah, you can definitely tell he was fit for this role. And basically the story is, you know, he's this, well, transporter, of course, and he ends up finding this girl in his car and, you know, he ends up falling for her and, you know, he finds out that uh, basically her father and some other guys have all of these people held hostage, basically, and... Yeah, and it basically is kind of an intriguing story, it is, and I mean, if you like action, I would say definitely check out this film, and yeah. Now, my real complaint with this film is mainly the choreography and the fight scenes. Some of them really didn't flow that well. It's probably the editing, if I had to guess, but I mean, it doesn't ruin the film enough for me where I just can't watch it or anything, and some of the fight scenes are very fun to watch. I mean, when Jason Statham is in a fight scene, you know it's always going to be a treat to watch for sure. So yeah, The Transporter, really good one, really enjoyed it. So the next film up is Goldeneye 007, which is probably one of the greatest James Bond movies of all time. Uh, probably the best one with Pierce Brosnan, I would say, and I'm sure many people can agree with me on that for sure. Uh, there's been four of them with Pierce Brosnan, and this is probably the best one. And yeah, definitely a classic, just a good old classic James Bond movie with some great action and I would say if you're someone who's not familiar with James Bond maybe you've never seen a James Bond film I'd say that this would be a very good introduction uh really great film for sure and yeah Pierce Brosnan um definitely giving it his all in this movie and yeah I dig the action in it for sure great film definitely a classic so the next film up is the movie X which I believe released um sometime this year. Now, I don't know if it's just I have very little experience with horror movies, but I found this movie kind of disturbing, well, mainly due to the stuff with that old lady in this movie and her intentions and stuff. I mean, that stuff, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, there are definitely some disturbing things uh, in this movie. Definitely not uh, made for all audiences, for sure. Uh, now, there have been some horror movies that have released this year that I do kind of like. Like, of course, The the Black Phone and uh, Scream 5. And I am looking forward to the next one a little bit as well. I, I'll probably end up checking out that movie. But X, I probably won't end up checking out this one again. Um, I know that some people have said it's one of the best films of the year. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say that it's a horrible film, like, oh, it's awful, I can't watch it or anything, because I was kind of intrigued uh, through the whole story and everything. So, yeah, but overall, probably not something I'll want to watch again. So the next film up is Mortal Kombat from 2021, I believe, and I know that this movie received fairly mixed reviews, and for me... I kind of like the movie. I did, especially the action. I mean, especially in the introduction, you know, it's very brutal with the, again, with the action. Um, yeah, just uh, really cool choreography and things like that. Really fun to watch. Um, kind of an interesting story. So yeah, Mortal Kombat from 2021. I know that some people don't like it, but I personally enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's a really good one. So the last film up is Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins, another film that has received fairly mixed reviews. Um, 
but I've actually kind of liked this movie. Now, I can definitely, after watching it, I can definitely understand why it received mixed reviews, because there are some moments where it is kind of just... I don't, I don't know what the correct word is. Uh, mediocre, maybe. You know, there are definitely some mediocre moments, some moments that are really not that interesting, but I would say overall it is a solid movie. Now, I do believe that this is a reboot to G.I. Joe, like they're going to reboot the entire franchise with this one, and... I mean, I'd be open to see uh, what they do next. I mean, I'm definitely excited to see what they do next with G.I. Joe, uh, because I do think that this is a solid movie, and Snake Eyes has always been one of my personal favorite G.I. Joe characters, so of course that was one of the reasons I was interested in checking this one out in the first place, but yeah, I think it's a solid movie. Um, I do uh, like this one. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good, so let me know what you think. Um, do you like these movies? Have you seen these movies? What movies have you seen recently? Feel free to let me know. So on that note, thank you for watching and have a good one.